these people get so mad and like bent out of shape and worked up. I mean, same same thing with KSI. Like, yeah, he's like a. I, I see right through him because I used to be like him. I used to be like the insecure, famous dude who like didn't who had this like fake confidence. What do you think about all the stuff he's going through right now? Did you? I don't know if you. I'm sure I've, you got to no, keep for up sure. With him. I mean, I've seen it, but like, I, what he, do you think? He's that like is, a man? he's I th- just like an egotistical narcissist. Like I see it. Yeah, I see it, and his his image and how people see and view him means everything to him like he can't sleep at night unless people like him and he's winning and he's the man and um you said you used to I be, used like, to that. be like that right I used to be like that but and it, and it was this big long journey for me because I woke up one day and I was like this is like terrible like why am I why am I like this and it, it took me years to like find self-love and I'm I'm still working on it like crazy but like and it's a never-ending process you're always gonna like run into new challenges and stuff but I realized I placed so much of my happiness into like my audience and how people viewed me and content and if I was successful and views and all of these things um and it's just like so unhealthy and I think a lot of you guys I mean I can even feel it myself a little bit now but I think everybody that's as successful as you KSI, even Logan, you got to feel a little bit of that. You kind of like have to be like that yeah. to get to that level. But I just didn't want to do that anymore and it's just like moved been. on. And, and my life's been so much more peaceful since then. And, um, and I, but I see that KSI is still so deeply into that. He's in the weeds with it for He's sure. He's in the fucking weeds and in, in the thick of it for sure. And, um, and I think honestly, I think it's a good and bad thing. I think for him, because listen, I think everybody has seen what happened, you know? Yeah. Uh, look at you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, we, I talked to JJ. I, I Genuinely, I like JJ. He's a good guy. And I know that you guys have your beef. And I think, I think one day, maybe it won't be that way. Because I think you guys are so much alike. It's like two Rams, just this. That I, I don't think you guys are necessarily alike in the way that's like, oh, they're the same person. I think mindset-wise, you guys are alike a lot. No, for sure. I see a lot of similarities. That's why I know what he's going through. I could see yeah. how he acts, and I'm also, like, can manipulate his mind. Like, I'm in control of... Like, bro, anything I say to this guy, he freaks... I mean, the reason he's mad was mad at you was because of me, no? He Well, he thought, and so did, I guess, a lot of people on our team, that I was playing both sides, which I, you and I have never spoken. N- ever. Never. Like and by the way, that's your fucking job. Like you care that much. Like yeah. he's a this guy's thirty, by the way. Like I don't even know how old you are. Guess. I think you're like twenty seven or eight. Ooh, I'm a young young bull out here. I'm thirty. Okay, so 30. he. Th- but this is what I'm saying. Like he's thirty years old and he acts. It's see, like I don't even like to go into this shit because people just think I'm talking shit. Well, I, like, I think that it's more so like, and they just think I'm like bias. And of course, we've had this right. beef for so long. But like, genuinely, from the outside looking in, if you like had a psychologist or someone like assess this guy, he's just brittle, and he clearly has this thing where like anyone that is with me around me sides with me likes me he like wants to be better than me and prove that and that's his like mission as a 30 year old to to compete with me to, and you, yeah. to, to prove that he's better and tougher than me but and that's like all his world revolves around and that's why whenever i like say something about him or whatever he just freaks the fuck out and like to me i'm like sitting on my phone laughing and like mm. having a fucking blast not a care in the world, but I could see that it actually like the shit talk actually gets to him. And the the moment I really realized it was when we were on that like Twitter live thing. Oh, the Twitter space. Yeah, the Twitter space, and he Twitter just like, like crumbled. Had yeah. nothing to say. Got embarrassed. Was just. You said one of the funniest things I think I've ever heard on a Twitter space. You said you it was. Ski mask on. Yeah. Bank robbery. Yeah. I'm going to knock him out and do a front flip off his dead body. Yes. I was like, Jesus Christ. I was about to get on a plane. I went, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. I like, Ver- that was just graphic, bro. Yeah. But no, I think, I, like I said, I think that he is a very determined individual. And I know that especially recently he's had a lot that he's just like 
a lot of external stuff I can tell, and it, we talked about it. But his goal is to put you down. That's it. No, that and that's great. Like I'm, I'm happy for him. Like I don't, I don't wish harm upon the kid. Like I, I respect his hustle. I respect his determination his yeah. w- his work ethic like i know i know and, the kid know, is a legit worker and like and he's smart with his businesses and etc but yeah. but um he thinks the same about you by the way like he, yeah. he does respect that you work your ass off like yeah that's that's what i'm saying there's mutual respect there it's just something's got to get settled yeah you know? we just gotta that's fight it. that's it and and really like if it if it wasn't for seeing how the fight affected my brother back in it's the a day. Big factor, yeah. I don't think I would even give a fuck. I'm really still doing this for Logan because that's why I became so good at boxing was because I saw it this shatter my brother and like his yeah. ego and identity and confidence. And I saw it happening to him, and he and he told he literally. I can remember the moment vividly. My brother it's was on camera, yeah. My brother, yeah, and he grabbed me and was like, "Yo, like you need to go fucking beat this kid." Yeah. And since that day, like, I've just been on this, on this mission, and the mission's changed. But right. that's what really initially started it. And I I know deep down, like, Logan can play both sides and say like. Logan's playing both sides. You heard it here first. No, he no. is. He is it, publicly. Yeah. And and he's I had a tough even, spot too. You know, it's like. Well, he put himself in that tough spot. Yeah. He so did. he can't. No one like he can't complain about it. But I mean, at the end of the day, that's. Blood. I, I know deep down, Logan wants nothing more than to see me knock out KSI. He won't say that. Of course. But. But it's blood, man. I was gonna say I saw you that night. You know, I saw you. The way it affected you too, because I, yeah. you know, it affected Logan a certain way, and I think you watching your brother go through that, yeah, and how it affected the whole family, yeah, it was. You're doing tough. that for the Paul family, man. Exactly. You know what I mean? No, exactly, and and I think, yeah, KSI's like whole goal is to uh, to beat me, and he needs me for his legacy. I think that's the biggest thing for him is yeah. like in his mind and and i think to the world yeah like if he beats me his legacy is complete like mm. he's um you know doing all the youtube stuff and was the king of influencer boxing whatever that's like what's going on in his head so he needs me for his legacy to sort of have this cherry on top and kind of like be completed because he's had a great run yeah um but for me it's like it's like a side quest it, it was a big part of my mission and still love the fight still going to do it at some point but for me um i want to fight real real fighters and Back. professionals and and climb up the rankings and see how far i could take it y'all got to finish your playground shit and then come and see what me. do you what do you think about the the joe fournier fight with ksi you saw the press conference yesterday or two days ago i didn't very low energy ksi very much like grounded got a shove Joe shoved him up and like damn near shoved him across the stage. What do you think about that fight, man? Um, I'll be honest with you about what I think about it. Yeah, I, look, I think it it's it's definitely interesting for certain reasons, but KSI I think is like acting like it's this insane pro boxer, right? But Joe has just really had taxi drivers. And he's padded his record. Yeah, he fought against some like influencer two or three Singer, years ago. Yeah, yeah. He's forty years on, old was now. Was that on your undercard? Yeah, yeah. He's forty years Holy old now, man, like inactive. Day, Seven years, I think. There's a gap. I mean, yeah, he had the David Hay fight, but let's be honest, those are homeboys right there. Yeah, going at it. Yeah, that was like a glorified, was a glorified sp- spar, sparring yeah. where they like agreed for whatever. But, um, I it, mean, it is a step up, though. We'll see. You know, no, it is a step up for sure, but. I think what's weird is like, it's not even a real fight. It's an exhibition. Oh, because of the PBA and the, they're not at BBC. I mean, I don't BBC. know why, but like, was that KSI, a big... even all of KSI's fights are exhibitions. So like, really, he's still just like one and zero. Yeah, is that something? Do you think is a big sticking point for you in the KSI fight? Is making sure that's that's BBBFC sanctioned if it's going to be in the UK. Pro yeah, battle. I wouldn't do it as an exhibition. Yeah. I'm sick? not trying to do any exhibitions. Nah, I think it's, it's stupid. It's a waste of time. It's like the fans don't care as much. Like you don't sell as many pay-per-views. It's not real. 
like yeah. it doesn't count on your record. Right. So, it's got to be pro fight. Yeah. I think they're going uh, six this time too, six rounds. Yeah, si- with, with Joe and KSI. Yeah. It's so crazy because like KSI is Cardio trying to machine like or whatever, but he's. I mean, is he? <laughs> that's what I'm. I, that, I, that's the. the if he was, one. then he would put like eight minutes, right? Yeah. Or eight rounds. I mean. Facts. Um, but that yeah, was, I, I was shocked they didn't go eight rounds this time. I was like, well, also like if KSI is trying to prepare himself for me, then that would probably be lucrative of him to like have some experience later in the rounds. How do you? Um, I know you're not going to talk about it too much. How do you genuinely see that KSI fight going? Like, I'm sure you've envisioned it. I'm sure you've it's going like you've gone over it in your head time after time. I think he just like starts out wild like he always does and just like is going to walk into a very big shot like he's very catch early him on. on. The back foot, just bang. He's so sloppy. He forecasts all of his shots. Called him the weather man, huh? Yes. <laughs> Forecast with it. Yes, he's for, he's a fucking weather man. <laughs> um very very basic. Um he he's tough and passionate and has yeah. heart. 100%. For sure, can 100%. take some shots, um, and that's the thing. He he isn't shy about saying that. Like he's not. I was like, I'm. I'll get hit. I don't care. Yeah. I'm like, it's at a certain point you better care. You know. Yeah, at but he's never point. fought anybody with power. Yeah. And then everyone like laughs like, oh, you fought your brother Logan. Like Logan's never knocked anyone. down. He's never down. opened up. Logan's never opened he's up. He's never on knocked someone down, let alone out. <laughs>